My topic is outbound marketing and detail explain and let's go to the topic and let's go to the start. Outbound marketing is a traditional marketing approach in which a company initiates communication and reaches out to potential customers through various channels such as advertising, direct mail, telemarketing, and email blasts. The goal of outbound marketing is to get the message out to the largest possible audience in the hopes that some of those people will become customers. It's a push-based marketing strategy where the company pushes its products or services to the customers. Outbound marketing requires a significant amount of resources and can be costly, and its effectiveness is difficult to track. Furthermore, it can be perceived as intrusive or annoying by potential customers who are not interested in the products or services being offered. This is why many companies are shifting their focus towards inbound marketing, which involves creating valuable content and engaging with potential customers in a non-intrusive way. Outbound marketing, also known as interruption marketing, is a methodology focused on promoting a product or service to the widest possible audience through traditional advertising tactics. Examples include direct advertising, public relations, and interest-based social media ads. As outbound marketing is meant to target large groups of people, it's one of the most effective ways to reach potential customers who have either not heard of your organization before or don't even know they have the problem your business solves. Contrast this with inbound marketing, which is focused on organically attracting qualified leads through lower impact channels such as content and social media. As it focuses on interrupting what people are doing, outbound marketing has developed something of a negative reputation. At one point or another, We've all been annoyed by an overzealous telemarketer, or a spam email from another country offering web hosting solutions. However, there is still very much a place for outbound marketing within an organization's marketing mix. Inbound marketing is focused on qualifying leads and helping to build the relationship between consumer and organization, but without a way to make people aware of a particular brand or company, that relationship doesn't exist. Outbound marketing refers to any kind of marketing where a company initiates the conversation and sends its message out to an audience. Outbound marketing examples include more traditional forms of marketing and advertising such as TV commercials, radio ads, print advertisements, newspaper ads, magazine ads, flyers, brochures, catalogs, etc., trade shows, outbound sales calls, aka cold calls, and email spam. Outbound marketing is the opposite of inbound marketing, where the customers find you when they need you. Examples of inbound marketing include content marketing, blogging, SEO, and opt-in email marketing. In addition, paid search advertising is considered inbound marketing, because your ads only appear when people are searching for products or services that you offer. Outbound marketing is generally harder to track and less profitable than inbound marketing, yet ironically, Organizations still spend as much as 90% of their marketing budgets on outbound marketing. Organizations looking to improve their sales and return on marketing spend would be well advised to reallocate an increasing percentage of their marketing budget on inbound marketing techniques. Outbound marketing constitutes the majority of marketing budgets for many businesses. It's been around for ages and some even consider it a cost of doing business. Outbound marketing, though, presents a lot of difficulties, and tradition and past mistakes should never get in the way of adapting to changing marketing trends. Problems with outbound marketing. Difficulty in tracking return on investment, ROI, increasing blocking techniques, do not call list, spam filters, Devo, etc. High cost, low yield. CRM Daily reports, Nearly half of the companies that implement inbound marketing efforts see a 25% greater return on investment ROI, on those programs than companies that do not. The survey found that inbound marketing channels can deliver up to 30 times the campaign conversion rate of traditional outbound direct mail campaigns. Inbound marketing is easier to track, has a higher ROI, and lower overall costs than outbound marketing. Your next step, of course, is to cut costs and increase conversions by shifting from outbound marketing to inbound marketing. Inbound marketing and search engine marketing. One of the most effective ways to capitalize on the benefits of inbound marketing is with search engine marketing activities. Search marketing is unique in that your customers start the conversation by searching on a topic, you as the advertiser have the ability to insert yourself into the conversation. The idea is to create ads and web pages that will show up when someone searches for something relevant to your business, 
making it easier for customers to find you. Someone who searches for your product or service is a warm lead, and if you aren't there to catch him, a competitor likely will. Consider the last time you made a purchase. Where did you go? Did you look for ads in the yellow pages? Attend a trade show search for the product online? Most likely, you answered with the latter, and so did your customers. To get started with inbound web marketing, set up pay-per-click PPC campaigns on Google AdWords and author relevant content for search engine optimization SEO. The more content on your website, the more reason for someone to land there, and the easier it will be for potential customers to find you. Outbound marketing is a traditional method of marketing seeking to push messaging out to potential customers. Outbound marketing includes activities such as trade shows, seminar series, and cold calling. It is costly and the ROI is much lower than inbound marketing. Inbound marketing is a strategy where you create content or social media. Tactics that spread brand awareness so people learn about you, might go to your website for information, show interest in your product, and potentially make a purchase. While some outbound strategies take lots of time and effort and may yield no leads, inbound strategies allow you to engage an audience of people that you can more easily qualify as a prospect of lead. The best analogy I can come up with is that traditional marketers looking to garner interest from new potential customers are like lions hunting in the jungle for elephants. The elephants used to be in the jungle in the 80s and 90s when they learned their trade, but they don't seem to be there anymore. They have all migrated to the watering holes on the savanna of the internet in our case. So, rather than continuing to hunt in the jungle, I recommend setting up shop at the watering hole or turning your website into its own watering hole. Rather than doing outbound marketing to the masses of people who are trying to block you out, I advocate for inbound marketing, where you help yourself be visible to people already interested in your industry. To do this, you need to set your website up like a hub for your industry. One that attracts visitors naturally through search engines, blogging, and social media. You want to have content for every stage in the marketing funnel. For consumers in the awareness stage, social media and ads will work great to introduce users to your brand and product. Blogging will position you as a credible and trustworthy source within your industry and allow your target audience to find you. During this process, it's also important to develop an SEO strategy to ensure your website is optimized for search. Once visitors turn into leads, you can nurture them through email marketing, conversational chatbots, and automated workflows. In the delight stage, your goal is to ensure your audience can easily connect with your sales and service teams, and resolve their issues quickly. Inbound marketing is all about meeting your audience where they're at. You'll quickly find that your marketing efforts are performing better and helping your brand grow. Have you ever been tasked with producing or updating your company's marketing strategy? Whether you should use an inbound or outbound marketing strategy may be a familiar argument you hear when discussing upcoming project strategies. It's easy to get overwhelmed with information and advice. Should you focus on making splashy signage, talking to potential leads at an industry event, or developing an exclusively digital strategy? Fortunately, these two universal marketing concepts can help you limit your scope. Both have distinct applications, benefits and challenges, which we'll explore in this article along with an overview of the many examples of how to apply each method. There are several main differences between inbound and outbound marketing. Outbound marketing involves proactively reaching out to consumers to get them interested in a product. By contrast, inbound marketing centers on creating and distributing content that draws people into your website. Outbound marketing typically has a more aggressive, wide-sweeping approach, with the expectation that at least some people will convert. Inbound marketing is usually more subtle and focuses on convincing a particular group of individuals to make a purchase over time. Outbound marketing consists of various marketing strategies and techniques that simultaneously target a large spectrum of people. Some of these include advertising, traditional and digital, cold emailing, cold calling, trade shows, and content syndication. Outbound marketing is the polar opposite of inbound marketing. Pull marketing where prospects find you to seek solutions to their problems. Outbound marketing or push marketing tactics have gotten a bad rap with the evolution of inbound marketing due to its perceived intrusive nature. The carpet bombing approach used in outbound marketing is an effective technique to cover the maximum section of a target demographic, and perhaps that's why outbound marketing is described as too aggressive. Traditional advertising, also known as above-the-line, ATL, advertising, 
Traditional advertising includes media such as television, radio, print, newspapers, magazines, etc., and billboards. Traditional advertising methods help you convey the message to the masses but lack refined targeting capabilities. ATL advertising avenues are effective for top-of-the-funnel activities such as brand awareness campaigns. Although a lot of skepticism surrounds the effectiveness of traditional advertising, they are still effective considering the number of users that watch TV shows, listen to the radio, or read a newspaper every day. Digital Advertising The first digital ad that ran in 1994 wasn't rich in targeting, but after 25 years, the digital advertising industry is as sophisticated as it gets. Here are a few types of digital ads just to give you an overview of how expansive the advertising landscape is. Search Engine Marketing SEM, Display Ads Social Media Ads Over the Top OTT, Ads Email Ads Native Advertising Video Ads Digital ads enable you to target your audience based on various criteria such as their demographic, geographic, psychographic, behavioral characteristics, interests, and habits. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Advanced targeting methods like retargeting and custom audiences can help you connect with an even wider audience segment. Digital ads are a part of below the line, BTL, advertising due to their precise targeting nature. Through the line, DTL, advertising. In TTL advertising, the brand's promotional mix consists of both, ATL and BTL ad types. For instance, a brand might run an awareness campaign across television, newspapers, and social media platforms. TTL can also include digital out-of-home, D-O-O-H. Advertising opens a new window, an emerging advertising format that uses traditional outdoor media to display dynamic ads. Cold calling. Cold calling or telemarketing is known to be the most notorious form of communication. In cold calling, the salesperson makes calls to a database of people, who could be prospects, to gauge their interest and convert them into paying customers. The salesperson usually has no prior communication with the customer, hence the term cold calling. The next step of telemarketing is warm calling, where a prospect has expressed their interest in your offerings. Cold calling is one of the most challenging marketing slash sales methods to drive sales due to reasons like do not disturb, D&D, service activation or recipients unwilling to participate in the call. Email marketing. Whether email marketing opens a new window as an inbound or outbound marketing tactic has been a debatable topic, but any push tactic, whether the customer has agreed to receive it or not can be categorized under outbound marketing since the sender initiates the communication. Email marketing enables organizations to connect to a wide subscriber base to identify various opportunities. Here are nine types of emails you can send to your subscribers and customers. Welcome and onboarding email sequence. Lead generation, nurturing, follow-up campaigns. Weekly newsletters. New product slash feature launch. Product feedback, survey. Customer retention campaigns, upselling or cross selling emails, card abandonment emails, discounts, offers, or customer loyalty campaigns. We have excluded transactional emails from outbound marketing as their purpose is to keep the customer updated on their purchases, orders, product returns, etc. Content syndication. In content syndication, you publish your content on a third party website. It could be a guest post, thought leadership piece interview, or a rehash of an existing article from your website. Sometimes content syndication can take place through brand collaborations as well, where you work with another brand to create a compelling content piece such as a downloadable guide. Content discovery platforms are distant cousins of content syndication. Content discovery platforms are a part of native advertising that allow advertisers to place their content on third-party publishing websites. Since content discovery platforms require publishers to drive a minimum fixed monthly traffic, approximately 10 million page views per month, to be eligible to place native ad slots, advertisers prefer native ads to amplify the content reach. Events and trade shows. Events and trade shows allow organizations to meet their prospects and customers face to face to generate leads, convert prospects, or retain existing customers. Corporations can organize their events such as Dreamforce by Salesforce or participate as a sponsor or attendee in conferences or events organized by a third party. The success of conference participation depends on pre-buzz activities, which consist of the activities mentioned above. 
while outbound marketing uses traditional tactics to push messages out to a broad audience. Inbound marketing targets relevant audiences with online content to pull them into the sales funnel. Outbound marketing includes TV ads, billboards, cold calling, and display ads, while inbound relies on slow burn content marketing, such as blogs, opt in email nurture flows, and native recommendations. You've heard the terms inbound marketing and outbound marketing so many times, but what do they really mean? Who do they target? What tactics do they include? And which works best? If you've never considered these questions before, read on to discover what is outbound marketing, what is inbound, what is the difference between inbound and outbound marketing, and why you should care. Outbound marketing. The most conventional and older of the two types, outbound marketing is what most people think of when it comes to marketing, billboards, radio ads, telemarketing, direct mail, and TV commercials. In the digital realm, it includes banner and display ads, pop-ups and pop-unders, and cold email marketing. In other words, outbound marketing efforts are those advertising or marketing strategies that push information to consumers, even when they don't ask for it. That's why it is also known as push marketing. Despite these challenges, outbound marketing is still used by many companies, especially in industries that rely heavily on advertising, for example automotive, finance, and retail. It can be effective when used in conjunction with inbound marketing and targeted towards a specific audience. TV and radio commercials. Billboards and print ads. Cold calling and telemarketing. Direct mail campaigns. Email blasts and newsletters. Trade shows and events. While inbound marketing focuses on attracting customers to the company through content and engagement, outbound marketing is about proactively going out and finding customers. It's a more traditional approach but it can still be effective when used strategically and in combination with other marketing tactics. One benefit of outbound marketing is its ability to reach a large audience quickly. For example, a TV commercial during a popular sporting event can generate a lot of exposure for a brand. It can also be used to raise awareness about a new product or service that people may not yet be searching for. Outbound marketing can also be used to complement and support inbound marketing efforts. For example, a trade show can be a great opportunity to meet potential customers in person and collect leads that can later be nurtured through inbound marketing tactics such as email campaigns and content marketing. However, outbound marketing can be expensive, and its results are not always easily measurable. For example, it can be difficult to accurately track how many people saw a billboard and how many of those people later became customers. It can also be intrusive and unwelcome such as telemarketing calls during dinner time or spammy email blasts. In conclusion, outbound marketing can still be a valuable tool for companies to reach their target audience if used thoughtfully and strategically alongside inbound marketing tactics. It's important to consider the audience and the message being conveyed to avoid coming across as intrusive or irrelevant. By using a multi-channel marketing approach, companies can reach their audience from different angles and increase their chances of success. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe the channel.